Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good vibes, good energy, good people. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. And if you want to support the brand I'm growing with my community, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. That's the spot to go to. Okay, today's episode, this is very important. I see this going around in social media, and people do their little sprinkles of hate here and there, and they try, try to act like people don't realize or understand what they're doing this is oh this is one of those things where you guys gotta leave your comments down below black people hating on black people what we see this all the time especially in hip-hop just belittling people and these people they talk about like you know they came from struggle and this and that but still they don't respect the people that's trying to make it to and out of the struggle i don't get it to me, it's very hypocritical, and a lot of people, they have no respect for the people in the places where they came from. And I see a lot of people on social media, you know, it's with this, like, you know, they put on this whole puppet suit, a bunch of logos all over the place. <laughs> Bunch of logos and companies that don't even care about them and then they start to hate on their own people and guess who they blame after us the content creators that point these things out it's genius that point people out and show people who these people are really they get mad and they get scared but it's not it's your energy is the energy you receive back they don't get that nobody's with it and you can see a lot of people say oh no support this support that really what they're doing they're sucking your soul and i've been telling you guys that Look out, because it be your own people. Mickey made it. Mickey made what you made, Mickey. Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. <laughs> This might hurt some folks, but black on black crime is real. I'm really talking about the hate though. Seriously, as a black man, don't no one hate on you more than another black person. Yet we see those same people talking about support black or support black businesses. Man, get y'all lying asses out of here. That's a fact. Facts, facts. It's a true statement when they say it be your own people. I don't know why it's so hard to be happy for someone, especially when they're doing well. And real quick, don't you hate when a lot of people in hip hop, they're just trying to hustle their way through it. Like you'll hear them say, oh, energy and, and, and it's all about your vibe. And these are the things that we use. These are the words that we use to uplift our people and fulfill our souls. And that's the thing they use to fulfill their pockets with promotion. Be careful of the people you support. We grew up with a single parent mom. It's okay. It's all right. It's time. Here we go. Black men, don't we have, don't black women, single black women that's raising your kids have enough shit that we're going through? Here we are, we got this Negro on this app. Once again, disrespecting black women. Now, we as single black women are just collectively beating the hell out of our kids because we are raising our kids by ourselves. So now we got to hold that torch. What the hell? Black men, can y'all stop doing that? We got to, we black women, especially single um, black women that are raising your kids we have enough shit that we're going through without the fact that we have to have you disrespect us collectively like I said we out there just frustrated as hell so we decided we just want to beat the hell out of our kids that, that's not who we are collectively please don't group us together like this this don't make any sense black men stop it we have women and once again black women have enough shit that we're going through and you know dark skin women I don't, I don't really like dark skin women like they look funny beside me so instead, he dates dark-skinned men. A lot of men don't even like women, and it shows. It shows in their appease, it shows in how they operate, it shows in how they talk with their friends. It shows that a lot of times men just go for women because that is the right thing to do. That is what we are taught up on, <laughs> but a lot of men don't even really like women. Because you don't respect them, you don't see their worth, you don't understand them, you don't try to understand them. The only time a black man is able to actually respect a black woman is if it comes from trauma, is if she's putting money on his books, is if she's holding it down. That's the only time he's able to understand her or if she's crying. But a lot of times when it comes down to black men, they do not really respect black women. They do not really appreciate black women. Respect, so you yeah. can't really, and I don't even talk about you. Yeah. I'm, talking, I'm, there, I'm directing it to him, so you can't really say pick me. Because what it is is as a gay black man, and and I'm not even sexually attracted to them. I respect them and I honor them. And I understand we all respect that they make it happen. 
I absolutely love when these kind of black males say stuff like, oh, we don't date black women. No, hun, black women don't date you. Because let's just keep it a buck. Like, let's just keep it honest. The black males that act like they don't date black women are just the black males that black women have passed up on for years because something is wrong with them. Come on now. Black women don't date you. It's not the other way around. I'm going to touch your hand when I say this. It's weird to look at someone that looks like you and not find them attractive and not want your children to look like you. What's well, not weird? Like, that's really weird to me. Like, I have never just imagined my children or the person I'm with to look so completely different from me. Now, if they do, they do. Cool. But it's very weird when black men say they don't like dark skinned women or black women to me, especially when they're dark skinned or black. Like, because it's like, I can only talk it up to self hate because it's weird. Like, I think that if you find yourself attractive, if you find yourself valuable, how do you look at the women in your own culture who look just like you? How do you not find them marriage worthy or like, that's weird. You're mentally disturbed. No? Yes. Y'all, I don't know what it is. I think cause when I'm driving, I be thinking, but y'all, I just thought about, I just really thought about something. It's so crazy. I don't even know if y'all can see me. But it's so crazy with how a lot of women of my skin tone don't like each other. Like, I, I, like, I don't even think y'all understand what I'm saying. Like, black women, they don't like each other. Like, I, for instance, a female can make a video right now on TikTok. She can make something, she can really be saying something that makes some sense. She can really be saying something that can kind of help the, the next sister out, right? You know what that black woman gonna say? Look at her fucking lashes. Ooh, her wig, her fucking lace showing, her this and that. Like, black women do this shit. They love tearing down the next motherfucker if they feel like, if they feel like that person kind of up them on some shit. Like, I'm just really like and, and it really got me thinking like I see why these women be choosing they cheating ass husband or they cheating ass man over these bitches because they ain't no better than the good that they sleeping with honestly like man having it having fake as females around you it can fuck your whole entire life and that's why some women keep choosing the same type of niggas because they still hang around the same type of bitches that still be with those same type of niggas. And then you then you can be prospering in life. And your friends still put negative shit in your head. Anything negative. Like that these females be man, y'all just don't even I don't even think y'all hear me. Then these bitches, then they go and then they go and fuck your nigga. And then I'm telling you, I bet you, you can hit up your ex-boyfriend right now, fool. Hit up your ex-boyfriend right now. I bet you, I bet you he'll tell you that one of your friends tried to holler at him. I'm, I promise you, I kid you not. And that's the crazy part about it. A lot of the friends that you hang with, that you be pillar talking to, you be telling all your business to, she might want, she probably want what you got. Like, I'm telling you, so many dudes, so many of my friend guys, but they'll come and say that, like, man, her friend tried to hit, hit, hit on me. But, I don't know, I just feel like, man, black women don't like each other. They hate on each other. They gonna talk about me on this video, like, look her nap head ass. Look her nap head ass. Look like a junkie. I don't get no. But be blessed, y'all. Be blessed. I do want to use a filter, but I straight don't need it. But can black women tell me why black women hate black women? Like, the hatred be real. I literally work with a lady, and I came in this morning, aside of other times, but I came in this morning and said, good morning, everybody. That whole act, like, I wouldn't even earn. So, black women, why do we hate each other so much? Sometimes I wish that women that look like myself, black women, would not be so mean and so judgmental to other black women right i love a friendly nice sweet kind loving black woman okay just mm, i love it i love it but what i don't like is 
y'all know I'm a spin instructor and with being a spin instructor you know you meet other people that don't really look like yourself half of the time and so we're all in a group we're just talking or whatever and the person may come up and they may talk to another instructor or whatever give them a hug and talk to them and it's not the, the fact that I care or anything like that when I'm around but it's just kind of like you don't exist and I feel like when we assist I like to say hey how you doing and half of the time it's just nothing back I get nothing back besides just nasty looks and they walk in the classroom they're about to take my class and they don't realize I'm the instructor and it's crazy because when they realize that I'm the instructor after class they want to come talk to me they want to oh how did you get in this industry like what made you do this but at first you were being so and you know while I'm on this topic when I think about it while working in finance um especially when it comes down to women and I'm just gonna say all women but especially women that look like myself black women would be so nasty to me in those spaces and i'm not talking about banking or anything i'm talking more in the lines of like wealth management okay so when they come in or when they would say little stuff to me it was always negative to me or it was always like i didn't matter and they would want to talk to the the white person or uh the white male or the white girl but they would ignore me and act like i don't exist or they would give me the nastiest tooted up booted up faces like i did some like i peed in their cheerios that morning like they knew me personally I don't get it and I didn't get it and I didn't try to figure out why you were so nasty and so mean. Then half the time I would realize and find out we had a lot in common or they would be my sorority sister and they would look at me so nasty and treat me so bad and and you know what that's why I always say you treat people the way you want to be treated because you don't you don't know who people are so why would you do that? That's because black people y'all cry too much y'all complain too much you're victims here's the thing that crying that complaining is what caused black people to fight. If it weren't for black people put in prison for fighting and getting murked a lot of times, if it weren't for that, a lot of minorities in this country wouldn't have the systemic opportunities that we do today. The irony that I see when I see Mexicans or Mexican Americans tell black people that y'all cry too much, y'all complain, y'all just victims, but it is that crying and that complaining what caused y'all to fight for all of us. For all of us. Literally, we Mexican, and I speak for myself, we're so prideful that we choose to be quiet a lot of times as we're being systemically mistreated and we face systemic inequalities. And yes. due to that is why we as Mexican people are so, so behind. It's so behind and we get mistreated so much in this country because we don't complain. We don't cry. We are just bullied around, being pushed around by everybody as opposed to black people who said, nah, we're gonna fight. And that sacrifice while fighting has enabled all minorities, not just Mexicans, Asians, Indians, everybody in this country benefits from the civil rights movements that was fought by black people. So my personal opinion in regards to black people always complaining, black people always crying, we need to stop identifying that as crying and complaining and really call it we're tired of systemic inequality, systemic oppression, and we are going to finally stand up and change things. That is what a lot of Mexican people can't see. We call that crying, but the reality is that the reason why we are in the conditions that we are is because we don't cry enough. Okay, all I gotta say is, you know, a lot of people out there, they just have hate in their heart, and they like to look at their own people and look down at their own people. And like I always say, if these people claim to come from a struggle, how could they not understand the journey it takes to get out of it by looking down at their own people, making their journey even harder by making fun of them? But you know how the story goes. In the end, we always see, even like with these Diddy cases, people think they have power, but really they're powerless because all those logos and the things that the big jewelry and the stuff that they put in front of themselves, the before they can show who they really are, those are the things that blind them from the things that's coming ahead to knock them off that pedestal that they think they're on. So you guys let me know down below. Just never hate on your own people or people coming up or look down on people. I'm just not with that type of energy, you know? You can't be positive and negative at the same time. Something in the middle of that just doesn't make sense. Maybe it's the person talking. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, AKA Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right